Welcome to Candid Africa, truthful and unapologetic. The conqueror writes history. They came, they conquered, and they wrote. Now you don't expect people who came to invade us to write the truth about us. They will always write negative things about us. And they have to do that because they have to justify their invasion in all the countries. It's like saying when the, uh, the Europeans went to America, there were no Indians there. It's ridiculous because they were there. I know that my people were there. We don't write our history. It has always been handed down to us orally by our elders. Of course, the white man came, came and he writes history. In fact, you don't know anything about any place until the white man gets there. Like my husband always says, it's like saying, well, whenever the, until the white man comes to any place, nothing lives. It's only when he comes and says, boof, I've discovered you, now you exist, which is ridiculous. Because the white man, wherever he is, whether he is in the majority or the minority, he rules. It just shows you, if, if to, it just proves to everyone that we just have to keep fighting. We just have to fight that much more because it doesn't matter whether he's majority or minority, he's always on top. Uh, I think uh, if you're black, you, you have difficulties everywhere there are white people. And most white people always say that uh, we should not generalize and so on and so forth. And in fact, there are some countries, even take Sweden. In Sweden, people say they are not, there's no racial problem there. But it is only because there are not that many black people in Sweden, so you don't really see it as clearly as you see it in countries like United States or even South Africa. But there is prejudice everywhere. I always feel that uh, even though one is an artist, uh, that we are first human beings and we live in the same world as a, any other person, so that uh, we as artists should never close our eyes to what is happening around us. Therefore, coming from South Africa, naturally I, uh, my life was affected by uh, my environment there and uh, the songs that I sing are just about my everyday life and uh, the things I say are those things that have affected my life. The message I'm trying to give to my audience is not one, I am just trying to make them understand me as a person and uh, understand my country and my people. And that is why I have to say the things I say in my performances because I know, again, that I am right. And because I am right, I know I will win because the truth shall never be covered by lies. Did you like or hate what you heard? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want more candid speeches like this, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to catch all our latest videos. And please feel free to leave your suggestions, news tips, or topics about Africa you'd like us to cover.